This, this is the face of five little girls eating lunch on the, or breakfast at the uh, McGovern Dole program. Uh, had an opportunity to go to this uh, school in Ethiopia, Daradaba, uh, last May, May of 16, to see these programs and work. Uh, we got to watch these little girls uh, eat. Uh, they get to, if they go to school a certain number of days in the month, they get to take an extra ration of uh, oil home with them to their families. They got them in incentives so the fa families keep these little girls in school. We went from this program to a uh, mountainous region where final distribution point for uh, food, emergency food aid, to uh, watch that process being to hap uh, happening. Uh, watched a slightly built young uh, fella, uh, two other big fellas, dropped a 110 pound sack of rice on his back. He kind of slumped under it, walked over to his donkey, put it on there, came back for the, for the other food that he was getting. And at least for the next several days, uh, that family would not go hungry. Uh, and these little girls would not be hungry either. The entire time I was there, I'm thinking about the wonderful stuff we're doing. This is really good stuff. The, uh, these kids are eating, uh, they're going to school. It was also niggling in the back of my mind the entire time. Uh, David was with me, uh, Lamalfa was with us as well, that uh, we, have, we have mortgaged our own children's future doing good things. And that one of these days we may face a very daunting challenge of how do we continue to do the good work we're doing here, but also respect uh, the challenges and the, and the threats to our own long-term survival of this country with $20 trillion in debt uh, and growing, and how do we continue to do those? And one of these days, either me or somebody in this position is gonna face those hard choices uh, to, uh, to, to decide between American children and Americans and, uh, and the great work we're doing overseas. And it's, uh, it's gonna require the, the wisdom of Solomon to, uh, to make that happen. Uh, at least, uh, you know, this president has, uh, has uh, highlighted that with his budget. I disagree with, uh, with uh, what he's done, but we are now talking about it in much more meaningful terms than we were before the uh, submission of that budget. And that's important that we do this because we're going to have to make hard choices between good stuff. The easy stuff that we shouldn't spend money on, that's just going to go away. But we're going to have to make hard choices between the good stuff. Dr. Jane, I cut you off a little bit a second ago. How can we move toward uh, self-sufficiency in countries uh, versus continuing to do the emergency aid, the food, feeding them for today, but how can, how can countries uh, move, how, what can we do uh, in lieu of just continuing to provide food that allow these countries to transition to uh, self-sufficiency? Mm, okay, well, Mr. Ch thank you. Uh, we've made progress uh, over the last decade or two on this, and you can see a progressive uh, weaning of uh, developing countries off of food aid and uh, as, they, as they develop. So more of the same, uh, but it is possible to uh, make our development assistance even more effective than it has been, uh, and that is by emphasizing the same kind of uh, agri the d development of local agricultural institutions, much in the same way that the United States 150 years ago and its farmers benefited from the USDA uh, Cooperative Extension Program, the land-grant universities that w worked on crop science and developed new varieties for farmers. These are the nuts and bolts kinds of investments that we can be using to develop those countries and, and wean them off of the need for food aid. In your testimony, you mentioned AgriCore. Would you brief the group as to what AgriCore does uh, in uh, Dr. Jane? Uh, I don't think it was me who said AgriCorp, uh, Chair. Oh, all right. Well, somehow it said. Well, then I'll tell about AgriCorp. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, thanks. AgriCorp is a, a, a privately funded uh, group of uh, young men and women who graduate from our universities with uh, uh, ag uh, agriculture degrees. Sure. Uh, they've grown up on farms, and this group sends them to, they're in Guyana, Ghana, uh, and they're now in Liberia this year, uh, setting up 4-H programs in these schools. The, uh, the one we visited, uh, uh, the elementary, the junior high school, which is as far as it can go in Ghana. The, that's uh, uh, their programs of, of learning how to, to, uh, to grow things and, and make money, supports um, four scholarships to uh, high school uh, under this 4-H program. And when 4-H started there, the pregnancy rate among uh, young great, uh, uh, middle school kids was something like 60%. Uh, today, the kids participate in 4-H, the pregnancy rate is zero. 
So good programs being done. This is no, no taxpayer dollars involved, uh, just a program coming out of Throckmorton, Texas, where uh, some local folks decided we need to, to spread that 4-H program. You mentioned the uh, extension programs uh, to, uh, to Ghana and, uh, and Liberia. So good stuff going on. With that, I recognize uh, Mr. Peterson for five minutes. Thank you very, very much. Uh, what a terrific panel today. Uh, each of you have brought a face and a, vo and a, and a perspective uh, to uh, this important issue, and, uh, and I appreciate you coming to D.C. to make that happen. Uh, Sonny Perdue, our new Secretary of Ag, has uh, got a new motto for USDA, it's do right and feed everybody, uh, and clearly that's uh, on the front of your minds. Uh, this is a hard subject. Uh, in addition to the to our going to see the Magol Dover program and the Mercy program, uh, we also went to Jordan to see the, the voucher cast assistance program in a, in a Syrian refugee camp just south of the Syrian border. Uh, you don't go into a refugee camp uh, of some 80,000 people and come out the same person that you went in. Uh, and those vouchers actually were being used to buy U.S. rice. It was in commercial, you know, smaller packages uh, in the grocery store that was uh, set up in order to do this. So uh, it's, it's going to be a blend of, uh, of cash and products, and, and, and every one of you made good points. Uh, and, and the, you know, the going back through the entire hit, uh, 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 hearing is not appropriate this second, but, but you did good stuff. Whether it's, uh, you know, one of the references Ms. Adams made to, uh, cry, uh, to the poor in the Bible uh, Christ said, the poor, you will, have, you will have the poor with you always. Uh, you're not going to be able to work your way out of a job. Uh, we're going to always have the poor with us, and, and it's going to be some responsibility. We all bear some responsibility to, in feeding them, whether it's reaction to national disasters, droughts, hur you know, hurricanes, uh, earthquakes, other things that happen where uh, things happen, or it's in response to man's inhumanity to man, uh, the wreck in Venezuela. Which, uh, that's just, just a government that that uh, mistreated its people, corruption, mismanagement, whatever it is in these countries that, that have these problems. Uh, we as Americans, with the blessings we have, do have a responsibility to, to, uh, to assist where we, uh, where we can. As I also mentioned, we've got uh, uh, tough, tough sledding ahead for our own country. We don't have an unlimited checkbook, even though it appears that way. Uh, we don't. And, uh, and so using uh, the wisdom of Solomon to try to figure out how we continue to do the the very best we need to do around the world and, and create that leadership that everyone talks about. America is a leader. You don't hear any other country who is referenced in response to these kinds of issues the way America is, is referenced. And, and, and that's a point of pride for us. We've done good stuff around the world, as GT mentioned, and we will continue to do it, whether it's through governments, our uh, Salem and, and the private sector doing what you do best, um, we're going to continue to help, and uh, and each of you have uh, helped us this morning gain a better understanding of uh, of how tough this is going to be, and uh, and so please please uh, pray for our decision makers because these are going to be hard things to you know priorities to set and hard things to do that are coming at us a whole lot quicker than maybe we even thought of them to uh, do it. So, again, what a great panel you were this morning. So thank each of you very very much. Under the